to begin this braid the same way I would a regular fishtail braid, so I'm splitting her hair in half, and then I'm going to take a small strand from the outside of this section on the right, and I'm crossing it over to the section on the left, and then I'm going to take a small strand from the outside of the section on the left, and I'm going to cross it over to the section on the right. And I'm just going to repeat this a few times so that I have a decent start to the fishtail braid. So you just want to braid that down to the point where you want your first bow to sit. And then to make the bow, I'm going to take a section that's a little bit bigger than the sections I've been using in the braid. And I'm going to cross it over just like I would normally. And then I'm going to grab another piece from this side. And you want to make these strands about the same thickness. And then you're going to take both of those and bring them underneath the two strands on the side and then cross them over the top back into their regular sections. And that is how the bow is made. And then you just want to continue with the regular fishtail braid. So I'm taking small strands again. So before you make your next bow, you're going to want to go back to this one and stretch that out to the size of bow you're wanting. You can make it smaller or bigger, whatever your preference is. And now you're ready to make your next bow. I actually counted these strands. I did five on each side and that is just so that I can keep these bows evenly spaced all the way down. So I'm going to do five regular fishtail strands in between each bow that I make. So I'll show you how to make the bow again. You just want to take a strand that is bigger than the regular fishtail braid you've been making. Cross it over on each side. And then grab those two strands, wrap them up and over. And then continue fishtail braiding. I've braided that down five regular strands on each side again. I'm going to go ahead and stretch this out and make another bow. Okay, you'll just want to continue that pattern all the way to the bottom. You can space these bows out however you want. You can make the gap further or closer in between. Just whatever you want to do. Okay, here's what the braid looks like when it's finished. If you're not exactly happy with how these bows are laying, you can go back through and stretch them out a little bit more. Even when the braid is done, you should be able to pull on these edges a little bit. And then we are going to add some hair jewelry to this just to make the bow stand out a little bit more. We found these jewels at our local craft store and I'm just going to glue them onto the top of a bobby pin and then stick them in the center of the bows. Okay, here is the completed braid with the added hair jewelry. I think this one looks really cute. Don't forget to download our free app!